take a look at three commanders for life gain strategies and you can help me decide who to use. First up is Shanna Purifying Blade. It opens us up to a fantastic trio of colors and she comes with lifelink herself. Keeping your hand full as you deploy your synergistic pieces onto the battlefield will be paramount and I love that you don't have to attack to get any value if you just want to play your commander as a card advantage enchantment of sorts. Going the opposite direction of date printed, I'm also considering the OG Aloro Ageless Ascetic. That passive effect out of reach of your opponents interacting with it seems brutal and having something like that you can always count on is a huge benefit to our desire to win. Does this commander still piss people off or has it been neutered? I also might put Liesa Shroud of Dusk back together. This deck was brutal but I've always felt like the target and couldn't really fly under the radar very well. I combined it with a lot of passive effects like Combal to sort of play it as a drain and gain deck but when those damages start adding up and my life total starts going too crazy that's it for me. A commander with no commander tax is pretty sick though. Is there a life gain commander you've played that I should give a test drive to? Let me know in the comments. And hey if you like commander content click subscribe at the bottom.